Hey everyone, this is Jake, and today I made some good progress with my global account. So I was able to hit level 30, and I did some couple things here. So we'll jump into video and talk about what I did today and what you should be considered doing as well. Anyways, let's jump into video and talk about it. So first thing you should be really doing is trying to clear the episode 3, the, the mainstream story. Because clearing episode 3 will unlock a lot of new stages and such. And the main thing it will unlock is this covered ops. And this will give this blue books. And you really want to farm this as much as you can early on and later on as well. So you definitely want to clear episode 3. Because you can unlock this stage right here. Then you can farm this every day for 3 times a day for these stages. And it will really stack up your blue books quite a lot especially early on so you can level your unit skill levels and such so that is definitely the first thing you want to go through in the next couple days and such the next section is the side story i think orca one is definitely the one of the most important one because you can farm orca fragments which you will need in the future for rearmaments for the orca and orca is definitely one of the meta units down in the road so you can get the base one for free, so you want to wait for that and save those fragments for next couple months until she gets the rearmaments. And I think another side story missions that I haven't done yet but I will pursue to do is definitely doing the SWAT 4 missions. And with this mission you can farm SSR soldier unit Kang and she is really really good. So you definitely want to go continue and do the stages as well. So we talked about those two and let's talk about the challenge stages. So challenge stage that you see right here, you need this ticket to enter the stages. And once you clear the stage, you are able to consume these tickets to get the rewards and go forward. Now, when you unlock the stage, you will start with the 10 tickets. And as you can see, each day, you will get one additional tickets to your account. And if you are already at the 10 tickets, that's the maximum cap that you can hold the tickets. So if you don't clear at least one stage, you will be capped out of 10. And then when the next day happens, you'll be losing out one tickets. And it's not a deal breaker, of course. I think you can miss a couple tickets and such, but if you are trying to min max things, those kind of things do stacks. So you definitely want to clear one of these stage each day or trade the tickets into the shop with the points, which is what you'll be doing after you clear all the stage down the road. And I will show you right here here what I mean by trading tickets you can trade your tickets for 20 medals and if you can't clear the stage and stuck with the stage just trade it like this and you should be able to gain the points as well which you'll be doing like I said because once you clear all the stage in the future you're eventually going to be trading these tickets for the medal right here so we talked about the challenge stages as well and the last one I guess is kind of like simulation training you definitely want to consume these tickets and use extra if you can buy with the courts and stuff to unlock to the last level and once you unlock to the last level what you can do is you can use skip functions so you can just enter the dungeons and you are able to just skip without having to do the battles once you clear the stage so you can farm the stages very easy each day and once you unlock to the last stage it's going to be just giving you a way less hassle to grind these dungeons every day so make sure you can try to clear this dungeons uh, right away at the start and that should help you out pretty big time to do the hardest dungeons which will give you the most amount of rewards every single day and the last thing I guess is kind of leads with the word branch missions and such that you want to unlock the account to level 30 fast as possible because as you level up your accounts you are able to buy these branches with the credits instead of quartz so as you can see I'm locked away and I have to hit level account 45 to buy this with the credit otherwise I have to pay quartz to unlock the branches in the past I think it was really worthwhile but right now I think it's a lot of quartz they're going to be asking in the future and you can definitely level up to level 45 pretty easily when you have this buff on you at this moment so when you have this kind of beginner buff that you get at the start for like 10 days or something the welcoming buff you will definitely want to kind of use this buff to try and level up your character by spending a lot of returnings and such so make sure to do that and you should have pretty good time 
and you should be able, you should be at least to able to hit level 30. Once you hit level 30, you can knock the another branch, the third one, and the fourth one. Once you hit level 45, you can buy it as well. And then I think you just kind of want to wait out. If you are not really a huge spender, you probably want to cap out with the four branches until you level up again. But that should end the video, and I think that's kind of everything I wanted to talk about within this one and what I've done so far today and what you should be doing as well. If I miss anything, just let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm making more of this short series videos and telling you guys what you should be doing. So I will see you guys next time in my other videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.